YouTube, what is up? I am back with a brand new video here today. I'm going to be reviewing the Yeezy 500 Utility Black. Now, this was the release that came right after the 380s, and I wound up hitting on those also. And I actually forgot I was in the raffle, so it was just a shock to me. I was just like, oh wow, okay, well, sure, I'll take them. And I wasn't really such of a fan of this model as I am of the other models, so it was interesting for me to actually have the shoe in person and actually own it, be able to try it on, wear it, and um, I'm not really sure on it because uh, I'm not sure if it's because it doesn't have any boost in it or I'm not sure maybe it's the suede or just the way it was constructed. But it feels kind of tighter than most shoes that I own from Yeezy. And I mean, like, I've gotten, like, my true size. I even went a half size up. I got a 9.5. And, and I got a 9.5 in the 380s. And the 380s feel amazing. That's probably the best Yeezy I've ever put on my feet. But this probably is the worst Yeezy I've ever put on my feet. These things are super uncomfortable. My feet feel like they're fucking bleeding in them. But I like the chunkiness of them. And I actually like the construction of them. And the materials are very, very solid. Now, I'm definitely going to be thinking about reselling these. I know I shouldn't have probably put them on feet. But I just tried them on. Then I'll probably like warm once. But the bottoms are still good. But, um... Yeah, this was the restock. This shoe came out, I want to say, a couple years ago. And they're doing restocks. They did a restock on these. They did a restock on the spreads. And also, I think tomorrow will be the Zebras. And when I'm recording this, it's December 12th. And I'm not sure exactly when you're going to see this video because I'm so busy. I just have so much other things going on. I'm not always able to upload on time. But let's get into it. So the overall color of the shoe is kind of this black charcoal gray, grayish tone. It's not like pitch pitch black. And I've even like had some people like talk to me about that and just asking me questions like, hey, why does everyone's 500s look so ashy or just dull whenever you see them? And I was explaining to them that it's the suede and the colors that they chose. And then over time that comes where that the shoe is going to look even more greater. So that was one of the things that kind of like, uh I was like, I'll deal with it, but I don't know if I'm going to be keeping these, man. And I'm I'm looking at resale, resale going around like 315 something like that, which that's cool, you know. I probably just plan on selling them real quickly and trying to get like a pair of Bapesters or something. But, um, yeah, this shoe is not really for me. And this is like the first Yeezy I could probably say that for. Now, if I do actually get another pair, I might have to just go for a full size up. I might have to just go size 10 because that size 9.5 feels like a true 9. It does not feel like a half size up. And that's, that's what's like really throwing me off. I try to wear them for a day to work. See if I can break them in, but nope. Nope, nope, nope. No. Now, am I saying this is a bad shoe? No, but by all means, no. But am I saying that I don't really like the way this shoe feels and it's not as comfortable as the other Yeezys? Yes. And that that is my gripe, you know? And here you see some on-foot footage that I suffered to get. Because at this point, I just don't even feel like putting them on my feet anymore. And I'm just ready to get them sold and get them out of my possession. So I can stop looking at them. <laughs> but um, thank you for watching the video. Here's some on-foot footage. Um, let me know if you copped anything from these recent drops. 
There's another pair of 380s coming out this Friday. And then I know um we'll probably be getting some some more stuff soon before the year ends. Like it's just so much coming out with Yeezy. At this point it's just crazy. Um try to get the J Balvin's. Couldn't get them of course because Nike is just Nike and sneakers is just sneakers and they just fucking hate me. But I wanna say thanks for watching. Drop a like. Don't forget to check out my other videos. I'm gonna be bringing a video up next on the ZX 8000 Bape Undefeated sneakers. And I want to say thanks for your time. Appreciate you watching. Peace out.